What is going on guys, welcome back to another pack opening video where we're going to be opening packs and answering some questions. I'm going to be doing di uh, this in two parts today, so let's get right into it. The only reason I'm not doing face cam today is so flaming hot in the house right now and I'm pretty much not wearing much clothes, let's just leave it at that. And uh, if you guys are looking for coins, check out UT Coin Traders. their link will be in the description. And another reason I never did it behind gameplay is I actually tried doing it behind gameplay but it felt so laggy and the servers aren't performing that well today so I just, so I just left it as, you know, no face cam and just put opening packs in the background. So here we go, we're going to be opening gold packs this time around. So first question, do you buy the new, do you buy the new PlayStation or new Xbox or nothing? Um, I'm, I'm assuming he's asking me if I'm going to buy the PS4 or the Xbox One. So, Xbox has... Oh, we get Jordi Alba in the first pack. Pretty good pack. Um, the Xbox One doesn't really appeal to me as much as the PS4. Uh, you guys know I'm a Sony fanboy. I'm buying the PS4. Even if it looked like a toilet seat, I would still buy it. Xbox One depends... Uh, I might buy it, but this only depends on the Ultimate Team exclusive. So... PS4 guaranteed I'm gonna buy that, but Xbox One, if they have decent exclusives for Ultimate Team, I might buy both. But for now, Xbox One ain't gonna be purchased by me on launch. So moving on to the next question. Can you do a video at the end of FIFA and put all your best packs of FIFA 13, uh, FIFA 13 on that video? Yes, I can certainly do that. Um, you could actually expect that in a week or two, maybe once I'm back from holiday. As you guys know, I'm traveling on Monday, which is pretty much tomorrow now. And what, let me ask you guys one question. Who do you guys think will win in today's final in the Confederations Cup? Brazil or Spain? This will be interesting to see what you guys think. Anyway, next question. What is the biggest change you want to see in FIFA 14 or generally just FIFA 14 Ultimate Team? Um... Uh, this is this. I could make a whole video about what improvements I want in FIFA 14 because there's a shit ton they can make. First up, please bring back trading, where I could trade off for a uh, for a player, and you never know, they might accept it. I might make profit, and it was a huge, you know, core, like it was a huge core feature that they took out, and it doesn't really help for them taking out. I know it says uh, it stops people from hacking, but that doesn't do shit. It stops people from, uh, you know, scamming. That is bullshit, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't do anything, to be honest. Um, so, in my opinion, I really hope trade offers at least could come back in FIFA 14. And I really hope single player matches. Please bring back single player matches. Those were awesome. I don't want to be playing, you know, in a competitive match every single time I play uh, FIFA, uh, FIFA 14. So, please bring back single matches. That is one thing or another thing that you just really want. So, moving on to the next question is... What do you usually do? Um, no, what do you usually do usually on an average day other than YouTube? So, um, I can't. Uh, well, I pretty much I would play games other than FIFA because FIFA I normally just play it when I want to make videos. But uh, other than that, I don't really play FIFA as much. It isn't as fun as FIFA 12. That's for sure for me. Um, I thought uh, FIFA 13 is way too sweaty for my liking. Um, the only time I play is when I want to get clips for a review or you know when I just want to make video uh, videos in general so you will find me you know going out with my girlfriend you know going out um, uh, uh, going out to attractions in London or just you know playing some awesome games at home but FIFA I just leave that to when I want to make videos pretty much um, sports you hate or don't like sports that I hate sports that I hate um, probably American football don't know what's the you know what's so good about that and I don't even know why people are even fit in American football since they have to stop the game every 10 seconds or some shit so I would like to know in the comment section below if you guys know why they should even be fit if it if the game stops every 10 seconds and I don't know it's not it's just too you know football um, European football I'm gonna call it um, is basically uh, it's just simple. All you need is a ball and a net, and you pretty much have you could play football um, outside. But with American football, you need a lot more than that. And I think the most simple sports are the best ones to watch. To be honest. Um, next up, do you have pets? Yes, I have two cats. Um, pretty much uh, best OP players in Ultimate Team. Well, this is a video I'm gonna make. Uh, top five defenders that I think are OP in this game, and top five 
um, strikers. They're going to be split into two pots, so you're going to be seeing top ten defenders, but uh, split into two videos. So and top five, uh, top ten strikers, of course. So you could see uh, you could see that sometime this week when I'm on holiday. I have that prepared. Did you ever expect to get this much success on YouTube? Um, I don't. I wouldn't call myself successful as of yet. Uh, I'm, I'm not really making that much money compared to being really successful on YouTube. So uh, once, once uh, maybe you know, getting 100k views on every video or 200k views, that's when I see myself as successful. But don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful for uh, for where I am right now. Um, it's a really good opportunity and it's an awesome, awesome, awesome life to live. But but I don't see it as success on YouTube as of yet. So that is pretty much it for today's, uh, uh, well, the first part of this Q and A. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate a like. And I will be uploading part two later on today. And as usual, guys, I really hope you have a very nice day.